welcome back to the third day of Comic Con. This is from the NSIC grounds in New Delhi, and we are having a ball of a time. Yesterday was so chaotic, it was not even funny, but it was so much fun. Thousands and thousands of people who were here, and I think thousands of people coming and standing in your line. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, you, if you don't know who he is, he's the godfather for Batman for me. So. Welcome to the show. Tell us, tell us about Batman 66. Tell us about yourself. Uh, Batman 66 uh, is a, a project I had to push like crazy to work on. When the editor announced he was doing this series, I started sending him artwork and said, okay, which issue am I drawing? And he said, you're not. You're not drawing any of the issues. We've already hired the team to do it. And I went, okay, we'll fire one of them and give me the job. <laughs> and the editor went, well, it's not how we do things. We've already hired this fellow. So I sent him a, a drawing of the Penguin. And I said, this is what it's going to look like when you hire me. And then the next day I sent him a picture of Batman and then the next day one of Robin after about two weeks he finally went okay <laughs> you can have the job this is intellectual <laughs> absolutely and I think the lesson there kids is pester people and annoy them until they hire you there's not a better life lesson around I will go ahead and add one more thing be really capable as he is no no no, no. you don't have to be good you just have to be annoying and that, that's how you get it I had the same thing with the Simpsons when I, I wanted to work on the Simpsons comic book I did the same thing I wrote them a script and I sent it to them and I more or less went what issue is this going to run in and they went we we don't hire you we're not working with you and I went okay I'll write you another one then <laughs> and after about six months of that they finally hired me and I, I've been working for the Simpsons off and on for about 10 years now yep. but it was the exact same thing if you have something you want to do don't take no for an answer because no is too easy to accept and, and most people will start with no right it, everything starts with no uh, hopefully your first you know when you propose to your wife that doesn't start with no but everything else should start with no and then you have to sort of work them out and and th that's how I got into Batman 66 because when I was about five years old it was on television I'm an old 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 man and it's it was what, 1966 or something right yeah yeah that's when it started and I'm old so I was five <laughs> when that happened and uh, at the time, I fell in love with the characters before I ever read the comic books. And I was Batman for Halloween when I was like six. So when I heard they were doing this comic book, I, I sort of went, I think I was literally born for this. I think I'm the only guy on earth who knows how good this book's going to be. There you go. And, and then you evolved and you also done something which is fairly phenomenal for us. He actually went and started something called the Comic Con and the Comic Boot Camp, right? Yeah, the Comic Comic Book Boot Camp. What, uh, what that? that is, it's uh, it's a school that I run. It's a little one room schoolhouse in the city of Toronto. And if you come to me, I will teach you how to do any part of the comics business because I'm a writer and an artist, and I've also been an editor. So I teach how to write, how to draw, how anatomy works, how working with a brush works, how working with a pencil works, anything. I teach about six different courses. And over the years, we've been doing this for about six or seven years now uh, some of our graduates have gone to work on uh, work for Marvel a couple of my graduates are currently working for Valiant right now so uh, I love to see people who really want to get into this business get an opportunity to learn how to do it from somebody who does it for a living wow. the thing I hate I went to art school when I was about 20 and everyone there did not do art for a living they just taught art they didn't actually make art they just said well I don't know what I'm doing but I'll show you sounds like engineering schools once in yeah, a while it's, like, it's all, all school. so my rule is uh, I, 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 I'm going to teach you because this is what I do for a living. This is not theoretical. This is actually how it's done. Wow. So, guys, that's what you have. If ever in Toronto, if you're ever if you're in Toronto. Toronto, go there. Yeah. yeah check it out. <laughs> Third question. Third I know question. you come from a fairly illustrious family. Yes. And I've been hearing about a brother of yours who was part of Usenet. That's true. Uh, uh, my whole family's illustrious. My father was quite famous. My mother was quite famous. My mother had a, she was a singing star in Canada. My father was, a, amongst other things, a game show host and things like that. Yeah, he was. And uh, 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 my brother, uh, he likes to say he, along with Al Gore, helped create the internet. That uh, uh, he was part of the big meeting where they decided whether it would be dot .com or dot .whatever. And he was actually part of that. So uh, as the internet grew, they just kept funneling money to my brother. So that now he sits uh, in a house that has, uh, you know that swimming pool in Scrooge McDuck that's just filled with money? <laughs> so it's like pennies, like, like big stack loads yeah, of money. Yeah, big stacks of gold coins and things like that. By the way, if you ever dived into a stack of gold coins, you'd break your neck. <laughs> I have no idea why anyone would do that. Fill it with paper money, people. If you're <laughs> filling your pool with money, use paper money. Otherwise, you'll hurt yourself. Uh, last question, and it's been brilliant talking to you. Uh, where are you going next year? What's what's up? Uh, where am I going physically? No, Hopefully just... I'm going home because <laughs> I don't have enough money to live in a hotel here. Uh, next year, um, uh, some of the projects coming up. There's one I can...
Picard. And one of the screenwriters... TNG, hmm? TNG. Uh, TNG, right. Yeah. But one of the screenwriters from that series has a project that uh, I'm starting to work on, and I can't tell you any more than that, other than it's going to be the coolest comic out next year. That's I can promise you that right now. Uh, and I've just done some stuff for a, a company called Space Coat Productions that owns uh, the rights to the Evil Dead movies. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, my the son, first one still rocks, okay? Uh, it's, 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 I, like I like the second one. You like the second I, one? I like the second one. That's, There's more comedy in there. There's more comedy in the second one. I, and the third one, of course, more, more medieval clothing. <laughs> but um, uh, it's, uh, it's one of my son's absolutely favorite movies. And when I got the offer to work on The Evil Dead, my son literally from across the room went, You're saying yes! <laughs> I didn't have a choice in that matter. So uh, I've been doing some stuff for The Evil Dead. I have a, a, a cover coming up for Archie in a couple of months. Nice. Uh, I have an issue of Mad Magazine that's coming out sometime around Christmas. Uh, I'm forgetting what else. Oh, I'm also uh, developing a science fiction product with a, um, a project with a, a publisher called uh, Titan Studios, uh, which, again, I can't go into too terribly much detail because it's st uh, still in early times. And uh, as, the, as the months go by, I'll probably get phone calls to do more Spider-Man and Batman. Wow. That's called a busy schedule, guys. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. It's been such a pleasure. It's Cheers nice and to have see a great you. And come to Comic-Con, for gosh sake. If this is live, you can get off your couch, get in a cab, and come here right now. And even if even if you're not in Delhi. If you're in Holland, get on a plane. There's still a few hours. For all of you who are in Delhi, you can actually come to Comic-Con for free, thanks to Ola Cabs. If you just have to go out and out, it's Uber for India. If you come to Comic-Con, yep. it's free. Oh, that's really cool. And if you're in Holland, hurry. Because there's only a few hours left. Seven hours? Oh, you'll have some benefit of time, but yes. come soon. <laughs> Cheers once more. Nice to meet Thanks you. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you.